Television's independent lens series called 9 to 5, The Story of a Movement. It's about a campaign from the 1970s for the rights of a huge part of the labor force who are often used and abused, office workers. I spoke to the directors of the film, Oscar winners Julia Reichert and Stephen Bognar. Secretaries were viewed as office wives. Clean my dentures, go out and get my lunch, make coffee for the whole group. Yes, sew up the pants. We actually have archival footage of the boss and his secretary talking about how does she feel about sewing up his pants while he has them on. And you look at her face, and it's a very striking combination of, I better smile to like, this was totally creepy. Remember, this was before the word sexual harassment, and 9 to 5 was among the organizations leading to like really make us aware of sexual harassment. And, you know, the 9 to 5ers had all kinds of wonderful tactics. You know, they gave out the Pettiest Office Procedure Award or the Bad Boss of the Year Award. They went on Phil Donahue and brought their bosses with them and shamed them on national TV. It was all with a smart, sharp sense of humor, and it just leveraged public opinion in a really good way. You know, the labor movement at that time had very few women leaders and did not have many leaders of color. Nine to five did, though. It's vivid in the film when nine to fivers reach out to other unions early on. Here's nine to five co-founder Karen Nussbaum and organizers Helen Williams and Kim Cook. So we talked to 10 different unions, and some were clueless where they said, oh, you know, we'd do more organizing here if I could just get a girl in to answer the phones more often. You did feel like you were sitting with somebody who considered you their equal. It's just like you little girls patting on the head kind of attitude. You know, they would say things like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're all too young and green to really know what it means to be in a union. And, you know, the labor movement has changed a lot since then. Many of the people in the film went on to continue to work in the labor movement, but continued to push for it to have, you know, more women leaders, a more feminist approach. And it's had a big impact on the labor movement, 9 to 5. And before we go... The Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, Dolly Parton movie is a kind of cartoon version of all of this. But in your film, people feel that movie version helped the cause? As a satire, you kind of pass over the question of, are women exploited? And millions of women around the country saw that movie. It was the number two box office hit of that year after The Empire Strikes Back. It was a a huge hit. It was a huge hit. And people saw it again and again. And it actually raised the prospects of the 9 to 5 national organization, which at that point was not a labor union. It was simply an association. After the movie came out, they decided, all right, the timing is right. Let's go for forming a women-led National Union of Clerical Workers. Within months, President Reagan backed the union busters and actually busted the air traffic controllers union. So their new union really was born at a very, very unfortunate time in American history. The documentary we're watching this month is 9 to 5, the story of a movement. It's Julia Reichert and Stephen Bognar who produced and directed this film. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. This has been fun. Thanks, David. That film is on PBS and the PBS app this month. Links at marketplace.org. Now, we're watching a documentary film once a month as part of our Econ Extra Credit project, a wholesome way to spend 100 minutes a month. I would very much like to hear your reaction to these films. Email us using extra credit at marketplace.org for the email address. We're not playing the 9 to 5 theme here, but you're hearing it in your head, right? I'm David Brancaccio, Marketplace Morning Report. From APM, American Public Media.